we have your friend in the next room. She's already told us that you're gay. You give us the names of others and we'll go easier on you. Somebody will please come to order. Homosexuals must not be handling top secret material. The pervert is easy prey to the blackmailer. It started this lavender scare. It started this systematic campaign to identify and remove all suspected gay men and lesbians from the federal civil service. It was the most wonderful country in the world, and you should serve it. And then I found out they didn't want me. I was called to the FBI office. They wouldn't allow legal representation. I was a scared kid. They wouldn't reveal the evidence. They said, we have information. You are homosexual. Do you have any comment? And they would threaten exposure. I submitted my resignation. I lost my job at the patent office. That was the end of it. I would have. The people that I got rid of, they were faggots. I didn't give a hoot. Get rid of that son of a bitch. Put him on the bread line. Culturally, we were sick. Sinners, sexual perverts. We were worse than communists. We knew that. He was afraid he was under investigation for his homosexuality. He was just not able to cope. And they said, well, he committed suicide. My mom, she was out there crying her heart out. How do you deal with that? I was the first person to fight back out of all of those large, huge number of people that were fired in the 50s. And in 1965, he led a protest outside the White House, which was both an act of conscience, but also an act of extraordinary courage. He has had more impact on moving forward gay civil rights than any other single individual. We are proud of you, Frank, and we are grateful to you for your leadership. I mean, it's a, it's a heartache that you have the rest of your days. All of this needs to be said. People need to know.